Welcome to the Contemporary Art Center. After work hours includes artworks by museum workers from the CAC over the past 20 years. The span of time we've occupied our Zaha Hadid design building. The artists on display have had roles that range from front-facing positions like security and front desk to more administrative roles in the curatorial and education departments. The CAC was founded in 1939 by three women, Betty Pollock Rao, Peggy Frank Crawford, and Rita Rentschler Cushman, in the basement of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Like the beginnings of the CAC, many artists began their practice in auxiliary spaces, like spare rooms and basements in between shifts at a day job. This exhibition highlights the talent of nearly 60 artists who found the time to create in between such shifts at work. Artists use sculpture, painting, installation, illustration, photography, and video to contemplate themes of nostalgia, environmentalism, cultural identity, humor, museum practices, and Cincinnati history. The work on display was created by artists working at an art museum. What creative things might you do outside of work in school? The first work we're going to talk about today is a painting by Nitea Babbitt, our Community and Adult Programs Manager. In the painting, Quality Time, we see Babbitt's father and adopted sister, affectionately nicknamed Lemonade, playing video games together. In Lemonade's case, she is adorably pretending. A quote from Babbitt's interview about the painting reads, quote, Exactly as the title says, I just wanted to depict two people that I care a lot about spending quality time with each other. My dad playing a video game and my little sister pretending like she's playing a video game." End quote. Babbitt also describes formal elements in the painting, like the geometric abstraction and the color choice particularly dressing lemonade in blue so that she pops more against the red background, which Babbitt describes as overpowering for her skin tone otherwise. What are ways we can keep memories with our loved ones? Sammy Jane Hardwig, previous visitor experience associate and art handler, displays the structure titled, Untitled, Growth and Decay. The sculpture is an organic form with a gold base and house paint covering it. The sculpture was inspired by Robert Frost's poem, Nothing Gold Can Stay. This poem talks about leaves changing color and the continuous passing of time, as well as the state of change that comes with those conditions. In Hardewig's own words, we are presented with a different interpretation of the poem, which influenced the creation of the sculpture. Quote, what really stood out to me was though nothing gold can stay, we're always continuing on and time can't stop. We never really lose these memories or these things that touch us and stay with us. End quote. In the sculpture, the gold does stay, but it transforms as there is a green paint covering parts of it like a patina. The sculpture's base is gold and we can still see that while its form and perception have changed. Another piece to take a look at is by Curtis Johnson, a current security specialist. The photograph Dreaming of Peace was taken on the day of Johnson's father's funeral. Taking the photograph was an impetus for Johnson to reflect on the relationship he had with his father and what he desires in this life. Johnson fo focuses the photograph's theme on his dad. One quote from an interview with Johnson is something that his father would tell him. Quote, aim higher, but like a higher piece. End quote. 
The photograph is an idyllic image of lush greenery and peaceful homes with fluffy clouds covering the domestic scene. This exhibition is a showcase of multiple artists, styles, themes, and mediums. All the work was created in between sometimes chaotic nature of being a working person. What ways are you able to maintain creativity and on your day-to-day -day when it gets hectic?